Previously in our series, we have attempted to gather a list of Master's non-past lives based on inner visions of our association members as well as occasional revelations that Master casually made during gatherings. Indeed, her past lives have spanned millennium after millennium and were often during a period of chaos or suffering which her loving and wise presence would help to resolve. For instance, even in her incarnations as so-called secular rulers, she often brought a golden age of peace to those kingdoms. Some of Supreme Master Ching Hai's known past incarnations in chronological order the beloved Lord Sri Rama heroically defeated the demon king Ravana to protect his people and the world, and the era under his benevolent reign as king was like a Satya Yuga, golden age. The worshipped Kuan Yin Bodhisattva was divinely granted a thousand arms and a thousand eyes, invisible physically, to fulfill her vow of rescuing all those suffering and in need of aid. Enduring extreme bodily sufferings due to humans' ignorance, the venerated Master Lord Mahavira traveled barefoot all around India to spiritually awaken and uplift humans of all classes, genders, etc. The venerated Master Lao Tzu brought forth the enlightened Taoist philosophy which has since had a deep and far-reaching influence all over China, Asia and the world. The worshipped Lord Jesus Christ came like a brilliant light in an age of darkness and sin, inspiring countless people to live compassionately. The venerated Patanjali was a great enlightened master of India whose Yoga Sutras are still valued as highly important and the foundation of classical yoga. During an era of turmoil, the legendary King Arthur successfully protected and united Britain, bringing peace and prosperity to the land. The Venerable Patriarch Bodhidharma from India traveled to China, where he introduced Chan, also known as Jen, Buddhism, which still flourishes today. Queen Sondok of Korea promoted Buddhism to raise people's consciousness better the lives of her subjects and through her wise diplomacy laid the foundations for uniting the three Korean kingdoms. His Holiness the Sixth Patriarch Hui Neng founded the Southern Enlightenment Southern Chan School of Buddhism. The platform sutra containing his teachings remains a highly influential text in the East Asian Buddhist tradition. The venerated priest king Quetzalcoatl abolished cruel practices such as human sacrifice and through his ingenious contributions inaugurated a golden age for the Toltec civilization. Known for bringing peace and prosperity to Olak, also known as Vietnam, Emperor Li Thai To accentuated Buddhism to foster his subjects moral values and love for one another. Emperor Li Thang Tong promoted Confucian teachings for his subjects to better understand moral virtues. He burned all torture devices, ordered aid to be distributed from royal storehouse to the underprivileged, and even cared for prisoners. The charismatic Genghis Khan was able to unite disparate tribes of Mongolia and focused on building peace. He embraced religious freedom abolished torture and slavery and supported women's rights, among other advanced governing policies. Aulak, Vietnam enjoyed a vibrant era under King Zhang Nyang Tong's reign, marked by his magnanimity and skillful efforts to avoid all risk of conflict. Even after becoming a monk, he would give out relief supplies and impart spiritual teachings to villagers. The venerated Master Sinkapa revitalized the original practices and disciplines of Buddhism in Tibet which had been in decline. King Sejong the Great created the Korean alphabet to empower the masses and strengthen the nation's identity. 
During an epidemic, he set up a relief program, personally wrote a detailed prescription for preventing sickness, and had it posted all over the kingdom. This sounds much like Master's loving response to the COVID-19 pandemic, as she donated funds for the most vulnerable and asked us to share our preventive tips with the public. In a time of war and chaos, the Kangxi Emperor brought about long-term stability to China and initiated a golden age with the flourishing of culture and the economy. Miraculously healing countless people during a plague, the Buddha of Day End of 19th century Olag, also known as Vietnam, eventually led tens of thousands of people to do good, be vegetarian, and believe in heaven and the Buddha. In a time of persecution, the venerated Lord Baha'u'llah brought hope to the downtrodden with his nobility and compassion. With concerned foresight of the future, he wrote letters to world leaders calling for justice and an end to war. Today, Master also writes letters to governments calling for non-violence. Etc. Crowned during tumultuous times, the beautiful Empress Elizabeth Sisi played an important role in the peaceful union of Austria and Hungary. She was seen as an angel of mercy, tirelessly helping the needy and comforting the wounded soldiers, etc. The beloved King Chulalongkorn of Thailand abolished slavery, modernized the government, and advanced the economy. Thanks to his superb statesmanship, Thailand was the only Southeast Asian country to never be colonized. The venerated Master Baba Saun Singh Ji's spiritual messages brought inner peace to hundreds of thousands in India and around the globe, uniting people of all religious backgrounds. Etc. These were only some examples of these great beings' innumerable moving days, just to give an idea of how Master uplifted humankind wherever she incarnated. In addition to these past lives, Supreme Master Qinghai has also been, for example, businessmen, court officials, and other masters, both incognito and famous, although we could not show some of the well-known ones here, as they are sensitive figures. 